If you want to know how to do a picture in picture because you got some information you want to bring on the screen or you are the information that you want to overlay on top of your tutorial, your recap, whatever your use case, you're exactly in the right place. In this six minute Saturday, in less than six minutes, we're gonna learn how to do it three different ways. If you're a beginner, if you're an intermediate or if you're a bit more expert. Either way, I think you're gonna learn something, so let's get started. The easiest way to get a picture in picture is probably to use the cropping method. For that, in your timeline, select your first clip, the one you will want to overlay, and then go in the inspector on the top right. If you don't have it, simply toggle it here. And then in the cropping section, you can simply decide how much cropping you want to have on the right or on the left, or you can maybe a better way, uh, come into this drop down here, select cropping, and then you can see this border and now you can readjust everything the way you want it maybe something like that looks about right you can now move back in that drop down go into transform and you can now move it across to change the size in the inspector reduce that size and i can bring myself in the corner and here we go we've got a picture in picture if i want to add a border around it i can use that with a special effect for example i can use a generator take a solid color use this maybe a white border would be perfect uh, or let's say a blue border uh, bring that on top of the clip and now using the same technique of cropping i can take this image and there we go we do have a picture in picture with me talking on top of the video you can adjust bit and pieces but that's really your first way of doing it. So let's reset and look at the next way of doing this. This will be using an effect. In your top left corner, you can simply toggle the effect, come here, look for effect under the toolbox, and then you can gonna take the DVE, drag and drop that on your clip, and you're already 80% there. From here, in the inspector, you can go into effect, make sure the DVE one is there. If you don't see anything, simply click on it. And now we're gonna be able to expand a little bit on the border. Again, I can change the color if I wanted a blue border, for example, no problem. I will be able to have corner radius and then maybe I can adjust uh, the width and the weight. That allows me to make what I want. So this is how I do the round that I usually do in this tutorial. Now, if I want to adjust the picture inside the frame, I cannot really do it from the effect. If I try to move the position, I'm actually moving the effect altogether. But then I will come back into the video tab and from here I will be able to adjust the position within the frame. So that really allow me to move things around if I want to zoom in a bit more to have more of an avatar, no problem. And now if I'm playing we can simply see that works really well. So let's reset everything one more time and look at the most advanced way of doing a picture in picture which is also the one that gonna give us a little bit more flexibility. I do not use it very often because I don't need that kind of flexibility most of the time but it's always good to know that it's there. To do so we're simply gonna use the stacking composition option of DaVinci to be able to add multiple video layers. So in my case I will want to use a picture in picture in the form of a stamp. Really I can't really crop that way around I could use masking but it's a pain in um, yeah you got it. So I'm, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna select that top layer I'm gonna come into the inspector and in my composition, rather than normal, I'm gonna go and select alpha. That's gonna allow the Vinci Resolve to know that this is a mask and it needs to be applied. Then I'll bring my clip on top. Actually, you need uh, the alpha to be below the clip. But now I can simply select my clip, go into my composition and go and select foreground. When I do so, you can see very easily that everything comes around. Now, if I want to adjust things like before, I can from my clip, moving the position of the clip. I can potentially do this with the mask or with the image, uh, but that doesn't work just as well. If I really want to move everything together, I will need to select my two clips, right click, new compound clip, calling this picture in picture, just like so. And now from here, if I'm using the transform drop down here or simply with the inspector, depending on your preference, I cannot move it around and adjust this the way I want. Oh, sorry for the interruption. I'm editing this and I realized I forgot to talk to you about the border and the drop shadow and all of those cool things. So let me do that quickly. Select your compound clip, open in timeline as before. Now select your two clip, go up by two, select your shape, drop down and duplicate or drag and drop it again. But if you do the option and drag and drop, you will have exactly the same setting. Uh, and from here, we will drag a solid color from the effect library, just like so. Don't forget to change the color, otherwise it's really hard to see anything. So I'm gonna go with a red. And then from the settings, in the composition mode, just as before, we're gonna go with foreground. And I increase the size ever so slightly, we can see the border is starting to pop in. Now, if I want to add a drop shadow to make it pop, I can do this from the effect library, go into open effects, 
search for the drop shadow and then you can simply drag and drop it and now we can see a bit of that shadow right there if i want to make it pop a little bit more maybe i can use this instead and now we can really see that shadow you can play around in the settings but this is the bit i forgot to mention back to the rest of the video now if i realize that the stem shape i've used is not the one i want to use and i'd rather have a triangle that is no problem i can simply select my compound clip right click open in timeline and now we'll have it here independently and i can now select a different shape overlay that um, and readjust the composite mode from normal to alpha and just like before i now have a triangle from there i can simply coming back to my original timeline and we can see that my clip has been adjusted and this is how in less than six minutes you've learned three different ways to do a picture in picture i'll see you next time